They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Not a bad beginning this one. Wild Lassie over on the inside and Spider Woman's very quick from Roy Queen. They are followed by Nam Long. Russian Fantasy is right there shortly after the start. Miss Brody's about a length off the first call. They are followed further back in the field by Legal Legacy over on the inside as Coco Swill. Polly Powers also among the leading group. It's compact their top four or five horses. As they move towards the 700 meter region, Roy Queen the leader. Polly Powers there and Miss Brody with the white nose band is perfectly plays. Russian Fantasy Nam Long. Down the inside, Spider Woman. Then comes Wild Lassie. Towards the outside, Newton's Lady. It's still Roy Queen, the leader. And now Miss Brody's being asked a question to go out after the leader. Then Polly Power. Behind that, Rash has had a see. Roy Queen still with a useful lead at the 200. And it's Roy Queen. Miss Brody is trying to wear it down. Roy Queen still goes, though. And it's Roy Queen in front. Miss Brody's back second, but Roy Queen's going to win. Roy Queen won it. Second will go to Miss Brody. Third, Polly Power, Russian Fantasy, and Newton. Newton's lad. Number one, Roy Queen, the Rebel King. Show 760 the win. Tristan Garden, Com 90 for Roy Moodley, bred by Riverton Stud, and Roy Queen wins at three parts of a length. Second, the tote favourite, number 10, Miss Brody, beaten that three parts of a length. Then it's a good couple of lengths back to Polly Power, number three. Runs into third, Russian Fantasy. Further back in the running, Newton's Lady. Then Art Attack, Bunker Solo, Nam Long, Swiss Note. And then came Fashion Fusion, and they were followed by Spider Woman. No race time up as yet, and the winner shows the pace, Royce Queen. Head slightly twisted. You'll see the rider tries to straighten her out, but she continues to go. She showed pace from the word go and is victorious. That's the running of race four. Race five is the start of the jackpot. Back to the studio. Number one, Roy's Queen, the daughter of Rebel King, has come good year and kept up that momentum. She was always going to show a bit of speed? Yeah, Sheldon. She, uh, around the turn, she battles a bit. She's quite a leggy, fully narrow, and she gets lost all the time around the turn. But her form, if you look, she's run to some decent horses. So back up the straight, she, she shows toe and won a good race. Tristan rode a good race. She looked to hang about inside the 200. Yeah, as I said, she, you know, she's very leggy and she was running around the last bit. But uh, I think once she fully learns uh, what racing is about, she'll win some races because the work's not bad at home. Well done to Mr. Mudley. You know what? Uh, he couldn't be here today. See, son Magesh is here to represent him. So just big thank you and well done to them. Tuscan and Starcraft Prince, how are they doing? Yeah, they're both doing well. Tuscan, big weight. Uh, he is better on the poly than on the grass, but uh, he does qualify for the chapter challenge. So we took our chances, and I think Starcraft will run a big race. Well done. Yeah, well done to the whole team. The winners are coming along now. So it's, uh, you know, when we have a bad patch, it's uh, we put pressure on the team. So just well done to them, and well done to the sponsors, Hollywood. Let's get Tristan Godden into the picture. He's the man who's ridden her home, coming to the last 300. Take us through the early part. Things look to map out well. Yes, definitely, Sheldon. Mr. Nigel just told me to bounce her out to have in front. Just hold up as long as possible because she is quite a leggy filly. And uh, he told me once I get her away, away, just try and keep her rolling, and she did that today. Looking at your runners coming up, anything worth including that's doing particularly well back home? Uh, Sheldon, I've got a lot of good rides today. Um, I think my next best will be Chapel Queen in the next. She's run, her first run out the Maidens. We're just going to hope and see and hope she runs well. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Sheldon, and a big thanks to the Academy and Riding Masters. Mr. Moodley, Mr. Gordon Moodley is here, all the, Mr. Naidu, and uh, thanks to my sponsors for the support. Thank you. Here we have it from Tristan Gordon. Who's going to have the chat? Are you going to come through or Gordon's going to represent? Coming to the course today, raining all the way, and as you get to Scottsville, it just opens up a bit, so we're getting the racing in, and the winner's going to be well-deserved. Yeah, I think so, Sheldon. In fact, uh, every winner counts for us, especially the number of horses we have in the stable. I think uh, Mudley, Mr. Mudley, Roy Mudley, that is, has put a lot of money into this game. So I think every winner counts. And I think uh, today, thanks to 
uh, firstly, I think to Com, and secondly, I think to the jockey, he rode exactly what Com told him. Get into the winner's box. Get into the winner's box, exactly, <laughs> and he rode him exactly. So yeah, the winner is uh, definitely for us. Yeah. Congratulations. And also I have Magesh here today, and he's come with his daughter, Katrina, which in fact the horse that's running the next race is actually named after her. So we can keep a close eye on that space? Yeah, I think so as well. In fact, you just arrived here and you get a winner. Well done. Thank you. Well done to the connections. We've seen number one, Roy's Queen, prove much the better. Miss Brody doing her best work late on. That'll be the exacta.